For today's video, I wanted to talk about if your singing is tending to be a bit flat and what might be causing that and what kind of things can help with that. So first of all, what do we mean by the word flat? I find that people use this term to mean a few different things. So one of the things that people can mean by it sounded flat is that it just feels kind of lacking in energy, that it's just kind of flat energetically. Uh, secondly, and relatedly, it can be that it, there's no variation throughout the song. So it all kind of sounds the same. It's all the same kind of vocal tone, the same sort of dynamic level, not much variation. The third and most common way that people use this word is to mean a little bit out of tune, a little bit pitchy in a way of being a little bit underneath the note, a little bit too low. So you're trying to hit this note, but you just end up a little bit too low. So I'm going to talk mainly about that last one. So the first most common way that I see people ending up flat is by holding back. Really, when you are um, singing and you, if you're feeling a little bit nervous about singing in front of somebody or you're feeling a little bit unsure, people can tend to hold back their volume, hold back their voice and not really commit to the notes that they're singing. So if you're really not committed to what you're singing and you're, and you're holding back, that can be something that causes your pitch to be a bit flat. So I'm not suggesting that you then go and start pushing because conversely, something that often makes people end up a bit sharp, a little bit too high, a little bit above the note is if they are pushing, particularly like pushing too much air. So it's about finding that sweet spot, that right amount of effort of committing to the note fully and not pushing, but not holding back either. Another reason why you can end up flat is the note is just in an unfamiliar part of your range. If you don't have the experience, if you're lacking in the experience of what it physically feels like to hit those kinds of notes, then you are just going to try to access those higher notes in the same way that you try to access lower notes and that is just not going to work. Your voice is a really versatile instrument. It has a lot of mechanisms involved in it and those mechanisms need to change and shift as you get higher in pitch in order to support you reaching those higher notes. So you can't drive uphill in the same gear that you drive downhill in. You've got to change gears. Some things about the way that the instrument is working need to change. So some things that can help with reaching higher notes and not ending up flat include lifting the larynx as you go higher. So allowing your larynx to rise up in your throat. Um, you can also add twang. Both of these things create a brightness in the sound and help to reach higher notes because your instrument is getting smaller. Your filter, your resonating space will get smaller. So if you think about the size of instruments, smaller instruments tend to resonate higher frequencies better than larger instruments. Um, you can lift the back of your tongue higher in order to also brighten the sound and make higher notes easier. The root of the tongue, here's your larynx, your voice box, the root of the tongue sits in the top of the larynx and comes out that way. So if you're trying to reach higher notes and your larynx is trying to lift up to help you reach those higher notes, if your tongue is really low and flat, that can kind of make it harder for the larynx to lift, which can end up creating a bit of flatness in the pitch. And uh, basically just learning how to access that area of your range. If you've got a good vocal coach or singing teacher who can give you some guidance and some exercises and some sense of what to feel for in order to reach those different parts of your range. If you're not super familiar with using your voice on higher notes, that can be really helpful. So I hope this video was helpful and you learned something. Uh, if you have any questions about voice, speech, singing or music, please feel free to drop them below or send me a private message. I would love to answer them in my next video. Talk to you soon.